Sonia Filinto. Bread. Bread is showing today at uh, at Aparanta. Yes. <laughs> it's been quite a struggle getting the film together. Very nice film, lovely film. Thank you. Tell us about the journey. Yeah, well, it, it started as uh, something that I wanted to. I, I was exploring, you know, the bakers because I kept seeing, you know, different bakers um, all over the place. So I wanted to see how this whole change is coming out of the ones who are making the bread. And then the more I explored, and you know, different stories just kept coming out. And uh, we looked all over Goa, went and met bakers from all over, and then you know, the kind of uh, the the narrative built. Uh, because uh, it was, I think, it was important to tell um, uh, the story of bread, the story of bakers, and also the story of making with hands. I think that is. It's a very uh, complex, what, complex yeah. story. You know, it deals with uh, with uh, traditions, with technology, economics, migration. Yes. What else? <laughs> So many, so many things, no? Yeah, yeah, and and that's the whole idea uh, of you know having people to uh, give uh, give audiences a little peek into it so that they can um, take back and think and maybe visit a bakery and you know next time they meet somebody who, who's who's making food with his or her hands, a farmer or anything of that, but someone who's creating, they look at a creator in a different way. It's a delightful story, yeah. very deep, and looks at all angles of the story. Uh, it must have not been easy to put it together how many years no it was it took two years uh, to put it together and uh, but uh, I must uh, say here that it was very uh, I, I we launched a crowdfunding campaign uh, and the the response was just amazing I mean I completely unexpected so very very touching and very heartening uh, went off the film was able to be complete because of the crowdfunding campaign and of course, you know, as soon as the film was over, the world closed down. So we really couldn't screen it I and see. show it. Yeah. We, so it's just pre-pandemic. Okay. It just It just got literally complete and, yeah. you know, that was it. But now, I mean, you know, I'm looking forward to uh, to showing it all over. This month, February 2023, it's having two shows in, in, in North Goa. Goa North yes, Goa, in North Goa. Yeah. What was the response like so far? And... Uh, the response has been uh, very heartening. Um, uh, uh, the the viewers, uh, it's touching uh, viewers differently in different ways, which is great. And actually, also, it's uh, the physical screenings is great because you get to see the response. You know, um, the online screenings that happened in the last two years, it, did, it went to a few festivals in different parts of the world also, uh, online, uh, yeah. screen online. Uh, so it would have reached probably a larger audience. But uh, as a filmmaker, as a film because you don't really get to know the feedback really there'll be one person who will make the effort or a couple of people not just one but you know viewers will make the effort to to write in but otherwise you don't get a sense of uh, it like in a physical screening so physical screenings are just fantastic just looking forward to many more and uh, as far as it being opened it's not yet online available no no not yet any plans yes. later maybe later this year i yeah. see yeah uh, documentary film distribution is broken and tough. Yes, yeah, it is. Any way out? See, the online platforms seem to be one way out, uh, and not just the big daddies as such. There are many online platforms. This, I think, there, I think there will be eventually a little bit of a, uh, you know, there are a few online platforms opening, closing. Uh, uh, but I think it is definitely a, a way yeah. forward. I think that's and and also pay and view. You know, you can put it up on that. That culture is really not yet taken off uh, uh, this in this part of the world. But I think you know you pay a nominal amount uh, and uh, and watch the film. Pay and Bad Roy has done a bit with yeah, Master yeah, Kumbhasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that that's what well, it's done. A little bit inspiring. in terms of your training and background and uh, career so far. Three, four films I, I saw mentioned against your name. Um, well, yeah. Born, raised, studied in Goa and then went to Bombay, Mumbai. have been working there in uh, documentaries in different capacities. Since? Uh, since? Many, almost two decades. I see. Yeah. And, Xavier, uh, you studied in Xavier. I studied in Xavier. Yeah. But there was no media studies in those At that days. time, no. Yeah, but but I think it was pretty much it for me. It's been just learning on the job really, yeah. and working with fantastic people, with talented directors, and you know core co-producers. So, and your four so, yeah. films in a line. One you one where you are actress. 
<laughs> no, I was. Yeah, that, that was I kind of just uh, helped out uh, a, a director and um, in, in in the film, and um, he gave me full credit, uh, actress credit. So I'm not really an actress, but yeah, I have performed in one film. For a Call? director of mine, <laughs> it's okay. okay. It was just a small, you know. Yeah, like we have to Google to find out. I've got it here on my phone somewhere. <laughs> I loved your film on on uh, changing sands of Kalangut. Thank you. Yeah. That yeah. is on the fish uh, fishing village turned into That's a tourism. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And today's is about the Goa's traditional bed in- industry, which is huge for Goa and uh, you know a big part of our life. And uh, something which very few of us see every day. We eat this product every day, but we don't see it. So I indeed. think you brought it to life. I I love the camera work in particular, it's apart from the storytelling and yeah, yeah, yeah. whole so lot of other Sahi things. Has, has really done a but the camera job. work was yeah. amazing. I yeah, mean, all the yeah. night scenes and all. Yeah, yeah. I think he's all really the brought best. the film to life. Yes. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank